So welcome to lecture 2. In this lecture, we will continue our topic on reserve the circuits and in this lecture we will talk about complex resistor combinations. After you complete this lecture, you should be able to calculate the equivalent resistance for a complex circuit that involves both series and parallel portions. You should also be able to calculate the current in and the potential difference across in the individual elements within a complex circuit. So many complex circuits can be understood by isolating the segments that are in series and parallel and simplifying them to their equivalent resistance. So the easier way to calculate current and potential difference is to work backward to find the current in and the potential difference across the part of a circuit. So let's take a simple example here and let's use this example here and uh, let's try and understand what is the equivalent resistance force. So this is the diagram that they have given us. So let me copy this one. So this is the circuit they have given us. So I can split this circuit and write it as a single circuit. So let me write it in a straight line so that you understand it better. And you have at the end there is one resistance. So let me write the zigzag so that you understand the entire circuit. So the first principle is always to draw the circuit in a straight line so that you understand the simplicity of the circuit first and then write down the values. So the first one start at the positive point. So the first one is 3 ohm. The second one is 6 ohm. And then you have a complex circuit of 6 ohm and 2 ohm. And on the bottom you have 4 ohm. And you have 1 ohm here. So always look for the complex part of the circuit and try to simplify that part of the circuit. So the complex part of the circuit here is this part here. So this is the complex part. In this, there is a smaller complexity part. So that is this part. So notice that the blue here is in series and it is more, it's the most internal part of the structure. So solve first that one. So when you solve this first, what do you get? So let me copy this exactly so that we can use this as we move along in the lecture. Now when you solve the inner part, so you remove the two resistors, it's in series now. So the two internal resistors, because they are in series, you can add them up and it becomes 6 plus 2, so it becomes 8 ohm. So we can write it as a single circuit, as a single resistor and that is 8 ohm. Now we have drawn the single circuit part. Now let's remove the series part done. So this series part is done. Next we have the in the red part we have a parallel connection between 8 and 4. So how do you calculate this? So 1 by R becomes equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4. 1 by 8 is 0.125, 1 by 4 is 0.25. So add 0.125 and 0.25. that gives you 0 0.375 sorry 0 0.375 and R the value for R becomes 1 by 0 0.375 that becomes 2.67667 ohm so this entire circuit can be reduced to the form of 2.667 ohm now so let's take this circuit exactly and let's try to simplify that circuit now. So this part is gone here. So this entire part can be replaced with a single resistor. So that single resistor is 2.667 ohm. Now we have all of these three resistors, all these three now are in a series connection. So add up the entire circuit, you get 3 plus 6 plus 2.667 plus 1. So you get 12.667 ohm. So this entire circuit 
the equivalent resistance for this circuit is 12.667 ohm. So this is how you can simplify a circuit and try to always look for the most internally complex part and then basically come out basically like you know nesting dolls in the reverse reverse. So this is how you can solve complex circuit problems. So next, in the same problem that we had, they are asking you to determine the current in and the potential difference across the two ohm resistor. So let us take the same circuit back again. So I am not going to do this again and again. So let us take this circuit here and they want to know the actual current in the two ohm resistor. So the first thing that we want to know is that in this entire part of the circuit here, so let me copy this part and we will solve it separately. So this is the resistor they want to know the current and so here for this resistor you want to know the current and the voltage for the current and the voltage to be done first thing we need to know is the amount of total current in the circuit so i total because remember that the i that comes in here will split into two parts and become i1 and i2 so it splits and becomes i1 and i2 so first let's find this i how would you find this i here in the problem that is given here, it is mentioned that the battery here is of 9 volts. So there is a battery of 9 volts. So the delta V value is 9 volts. And we found the equivalent resistance of the total circuit to be 12.667 ohm. Now what is the total current in the circuit? I becomes delta V by R equivalent. Delta V is 9 volts by 12.667 so 9.0 divided by 12.667 becomes 0 0.711 amperes or we can write it as 0 0.71 amps so this is the total current in the circuit so we found the total current now remember that in a series circuit in each of them there is going to be different voltage but in a parallel circuit we are only concerned with this part of the circuit. In this part, this is a parallel circuit. Because this is a parallel circuit, which means that current is different, but voltage is the same. So the voltage V is the same across everything. So that voltage here first depends on the voltage. So what is that voltage then? This is the voltage of this entire combination of these resistors. So how would you find the voltage for this part of the entire parallel circuit? Remember that we only have voltage for so we remember that this part will have V1, this part will have V2, this part, this entire combination will have V3 and for 1 ohm we will have V4. So we want to find V3 here. To find V3 there, we need to know the equivalent resistance of this circuit entirely. So once we know the equivalent resistance of this circuit, we already know the current that is passing through that equivalent resistance that is 0 0.71 amperes and then we can calculate the V3 value. So if you remember from the formula, V3 becomes IE times R equivalent. So the R equivalent here is only the, for this part of the circuit, not for anything else. So for this part of the circuit, we calculated that, so that value to be 2.667 ohm. So that value is 2.667 ohm. So V3 can be calculated as 2.0.71 times 2.667 ohm so 0 0.71 times 2.667 that value becomes 1.89 volts so this is the voltage across the parallel circuit so v3 here is 1.89 volts now because the voltage is same across the two parallel conductors here so which means that the voltage across the two ohm resistor is also the same so we can write that the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor is 1.89 volts. 
but we want to calculate the current that current that we have is i1 to calculate i1 now what do i need so remember that this is a parallel circuit and we have one volt one particular part splitting into two parts now we calculated the voltage that is passing through this and we know the resistance of that so to calculate the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor we have to use the formula v equal to r but the problem here is that this is a series circuit which means that there are two resistors so to calculate the current we have to use the resistance both resistors here so the resistance in total is going to be 8 ohm in that circuit and the voltage that we calculated is 1.89 volts now the current that is passing through that will become v by r so v becomes 1.89 divided by 8.0 so 1.89 divided by 8.0 becomes 0 0.236 amperes or 0 0.24 amps so this is the current that is passing through the 2 ohm resistor so this is how you can calculate it in the exams it's not going to be so complex just remember how to solve complex equations that's more than enough so this is how we can solve complex resistor combinations and complex problems So use the principles that you learned now and pause the video right here and try to solve these problems.